Okay, here we are back inside Maker's Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the content and it's helping you out. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're just going to real quick go back to the bezel setting a little bit and just show how to be able to save it and everything. Because I, I think I forgot to do that in the last video for the bezel for the uh, settings curve menu. So we're going to go uh, and grab a stone here real quick. And we'll just take the default here. Uh, and then uh, we'll go to settings and we'll put bezel on it, right? Uh, and we'll pick our stone, hit enter, and we have our stone, right? And I'm going to give it some shading here. Now, uh, it's probably advisable to go in there and kind of set it up uh, a little bit, but I think 0.8 is good. I like the angle. Uh, the dome, I'm not real uh, keen on, but I can always change that before I save it. Uh, and actually, everything else looks uh, just for a basic bezel. That's that's pretty good. So let's say, uh, well, first of all, you don't need to save this of course but uh, you can go into your editor and now we can like I said in the last video we can uh, manipulate this any way we want and we can see all kinds of updates right so if we just uh, pick one of these curves and kind of move it around uh, we can see an update there right uh, but not only that is you can come over here uh, in your side and you can add a, a control port point or a uh, corner point right so you can change the way it looks just by adding points to here so let's just grab a control point pick our curve there and let's say we want it kind of down here now we have a little bit more manipulation that we can kind of get some different shapes out there right let's grab a uh, con uh, what is it? The corner point, and we'll pick our curve, and we'll snap that one. I don't know somewhere up here, uh, so it gives us several. Uh, but you could always go back and just pick one of them, and then hit the delete key, uh, and it should. Let's put those on. Click there, and then delete. It should get rid of it. I wonder why it's not. Maybe that key is dead. Let's turn on numlock. Well, let's pick this one. Yeah, that'll work. Let's undo that. You can always undo stuff, so it's no big deal. Uh, all right. Uh, so for some reason, it's not going to let me delete that key uh, or that point. You can delete that one. You can delete that one. You cannot delete. Oh, you can after you do the others. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So let's uh, grab that again, and we'll just place it right here. Now we can manipulate these any way we want as well. Uh, and you can see it kind of gives a little uh, undercut there, right? But it, it's still, uh, it's not overlap. It's still all solid and everything. So you can continue to manipulate however you want. Uh, and let's let's just kind of draw something crazy out here. Let's bring this in a little. Okay, that looks pretty uh, unusual and uh, actually very, uh, uh, to be able to put on something, uh, it also is like a pendant or something like that. Uh, we could probably use that. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click here uh, and then uh, go back into my... Uh, three dots over here my bezel uh, dynamic commands and then I'm going to uh, hit style and before you do that you probably want to make sure you got a good image of however you want I want to be able to see this here uh, so I'm going to or the profile there so I'm going to go ahead select style uh, and then come in here and save style and then it'll ask me to give it a name um, uh, cool uh, Double row bump <laughs> bump bezel and then just hit uh, save save style uh, you could type in a description too it's not going to show you right there but if you click off of it and then go back to your styles uh, you'll see it added right here rounded middle double right here round middle double row bump right uh so it's it's been added uh and you can go back in and you can uh start editing even more so you could add, add to your uh styles library you know if you take uh you know 20 30 minutes and you're uh just you know deleting points adding points uh doing different kinds of things uh you, and moving things around 
uh, you can get some uh, crazy looking uh, bezels and build your uh, profile library out uh, pretty good. Uh, so there's there's lots of things you can do in here and you can go in and manipulate it even more after you accept it and you, you know you want to save it or whatever you can still go in here and manipulate it even more uh, so uh, tons of uh, options there right that you can uh, do some crazy stuff with and build your library so uh, you'll have different options on uh, different kinds of designs that looks pretty cool yeah, and you can put, you know, probably diamonds around. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Just let your mind go crazy. <laughs> uh, you never know what you get. Uh, so that's just uh, how to save them into your uh, profile uh, styles library. Uh, and you can build that very quickly uh, just by going in there, doing your edit editing and watching it update. Find something that you like. Go ahead and save it. Uh, click here, of course, once you get it the way you want it. Uh, and then... Uh, Go ahead, your styles, uh, hit styles, uh, say, save, give it a name, and then it's there. And then go back to your profile uh, editor and continue adding points and uh, doing other kinds of things. And you can get all kinds of uh, really uh, cool shapes. Uh, so hopefully this will uh, build your library up and uh, you'll be able to create some very unique uh, type bezels and uh, do a lot of other things with them as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope the video helps. And if it did, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. Appreciate uh, all, all your support. I really do. Thanks very much. Good designing.